And as we wait, once again, this is the official kickoff to the uh, Calgary Stampede, the greatest outdoor show on earth over the next 10 days. No shortage of activities, concerts, bands taking part uh, uh, throughout the 10 days, just about all over the city, Joel. Yeah, and that show band that we've been talking about, um, you know, they rehearse more than 300 hours every year for these sort of events, Dallas. Well, it Three. seems like you need to rehearse <laughs> if you're going to pull this off. Look oh. how many people there are, right? No, I agree. And uh, and it just goes to show their dedication, obviously, to this really important event and um, to being such a uh, an integral part of not only the parade but. Um, all year they're performing and doing other things. Um, they they won a, multiple awards over the years. Back in 2015, the, the Drum Corps International Sound Sport Award for Best in Show. And we're hearing a few applause. Maybe that means we're moments away from this getting underway. Talk about dedication, Joel, there. Let's talk about the volunteers. Always a huge mm -hmm. part of the Stampede for sure. 19,000 hours from committee volunteers year round. You see that banner, the Welcome to the Calgary Stampede banner. We are just about to get underway here. Stay here on Global News as we've got you covered on broadcast right up until 11 o'clock and online as well, globalnews.ca slash Calgary. And you mentioned the volunteers. I mean, they're so important because without them, this really doesn't happen. This whole festival of the 10 days we're about to experience, not only the parade that's kicking off it, um, but throughout the rest of either this week and into the next week as well. Um, really those volunteers, I know the, the Stampede Committee and, and all of us here in Calgary are so thankful to all the time that they put forward through are with this rather. Yeah, I'm sure people are pretty thankful uh, for that weather holding off for now <laughs> yeah, uh, as well. We're going to see how the morning unfolds, but I tell you, when I came into work at 3 o'clock this morning, it was just pouring down and I thought, oh no, <laughs> here we go. But but we're a hearty bunch. It doesn't exactly. stop anybody from heading out there. <laughs> like I said, Mother Nature just wants to take part this year. So uh, speaking of, yeah, Mother Nature, there's a lot of poop, of course. Everyone loves to talk about the poop. <laughs> along you? the parade route. There is about uh, two tons of manure that's going to be deposited on the parade Two route. tons? Where are you getting these facts from? Two now? tons from the Calgary Stampede <laughs> itself. Since 2001, street sweeper critters have been responsible for uh, clearing the parade route. And here we go. It is getting underway. Let's have a listen. Kicking it off with the Stampede show band. walking 25 lengths of the Calgary Tower <laughs> with a tuba. No, I can't That's actually. what they're doing and sounding good every step of the way. They sound absolutely incredible. Uh, great kickoff to the Stampede. No, I think that my shoulder would probably fall off by maybe a quarter way in. And that's why we're staying in the cushy studio <laughs> yeah. here. Take a look at this. 
That's Calgary the Stampede Show Riders. Yeah, the show riders are coming up. And this is interesting because the show riders are uh, yeah, young people from the ages of 14 and 21. Um, obviously, we're talking about, um, obviously, they're um, a big showcase in this parade. Uh, one thing that is to note about the, the show riders, Dallas, is that boys are allowed. So historically, the show riders have been comprised of female riders, but no riders are allowed in the group. Uh, and they are obviously a very talented bunch as well. They do rehearse uh, together with the parade as well because when you have horses involved, you never know what's going to yeah, happen. Right. So that's a good uh, good thing they rehearse with those horses. They get used to being around the band and used to, look, we've already got some <laughs> deposits on the parade route for sure. This is a look from above at that show band as the 107th Stampede Parade uh, gets underway here on your Friday morning, the official kickoff to the Stampede. You can see those risers have filled up nicely with yeah, a lot of spectators you know. as well. Well, Whether or not keeping anybody away. Nice uh, to see. And I know, obviously, even coming down to work this morning, seeing uh, the roads blocked off, people getting ready. Everyone is so excited for this day. As we said, more than 300,000 people are expected to take part in this parade on the sides. Uh, and obviously, a big part of this, Stampede Royalty, um, they are the official ambassadors of the Stampede. They promote Western heritage uh, across the the, the world from Calgary here and they have more than 400 appearances during their reign Dallas uh, and they're a big part of, of what goes on here today. Yeah the Calgary Stampede Queen is Carly Heath this year, the Princess is Kylie Stewart and um, Courtney Dingreville and we've also got uh, the um, First Nations Princess as well. Yeah Astakumi Smith um, as well she's 19 years old uh, and obviously they're not just royalty that we're going to see here from the Calgary Stampede there's other rodeos in the area. Uh, we're going to get a chance to see them a little bit later. Um, the queens and princesses from around our region who, again, just make a number of appearances, promote that Western heritage, those great values that the Stampede is all about. Uh, and that's why they're front and center today as we kick off the parade. Some mini horses there as well. Some little kids trying to run into the street for sure. Once again, the very first parade back in 1912. What a long way we have come from that time. I know. And I wonder back in 1912 if they also had the guys running in behind uh, the horses doing that. Oh, you got it. You got to scoop it at some <laughs> point or at least kick it off. We saw the Karsten trolley there as we watched the corral, the stampede kicking off. Right, let's take a listen in again. And as we've been mentioning this morning, you're going to notice. 
notice a lot more bands in the Stampede mm -hmm. Parade this year, and that is for very good reason because it just so happens that this parade falls at the same time as the 2019 World Championships for the World Association of Marching Show Bands, which uh, run right up until the 9th. Yeah, I know. So we have a lot of uh, very talented people from across the world, many from Germany, including this band, Fanfarenzug Grease, and they are a school band in former East Germany, Dallas. Interesting history, a 55-year-long history. Obviously, East Germany uh, politically, you know, having changes and no longer being uh, an official state. Uh, and they've gone through all of that. They've rebuilt the band, and now they're right here at the World Championships, ready to take on all comers. And what is interesting about that band as well, Joel, is that the age range. So mm -hmm. there's there's people all the way from 12 right up until in their 50s. So they're here competing, showing the world what they can do from a rural uh, part of Germany. I know, and, and as I said, there's going to be many more that you're going to see. Uh, and there seems to be a lot from Germany, actually. I was going through this. Um, all right, here we go. The Grey Cup. There we, of is. course, are the Grey Cup champions, and the Grey Cup is going to be held this year in November, mm -hmm. November 20th to the 24th. That would be the Grey Cup Festival. I know. Raise that trophy. There it is. Um, obviously, uh, we're hoping to repeat <laughs> as the staff feeders uh, have gone off to a, a okay start to the season. Bo Levi Mitchell, we're still following his uh, injury status. What is the latest on that, by the way? I he was getting a second, second opinion. Second opinion. I think. Yeah, second opinion. Now, obviously, uh, we saw the Hitman there and the Calgary Sports and Entertainment float we're looking at there. Um, I believe. If we get another shot on those flames, Matthew Kachuk is one of the flames. Dylan Dubé. Dylan Dubé as Mark well. Mark Tukowski. I think they're on horseback. Oh, there we go. There they are. I was looking for quick six, by the way, our, uh, our uh, Stampeders mascot because there's been no petitions about quick six <laughs> like there is about the rough riders gainer which i i can't believe about oh uh, yeah we'll leave that one alone the stamps play the riders this weekend so it should be a good one um uh, looking at looking at the route from above now you can see the crowds it looks like they're filling out it's just it's super nice to see yeah no everyone taking part um in obviously a really special day a big kickoff to our 107th Stampede. We should mention though too the the Roughnecks. They're champs. They are champs this year as yep. well. It's been a good year for our local sports teams as well. All right, so we're looking at here, uh, or what we're looking at here rather, the Whitefish Winter Carnival, a treasured, long-standing tradition held every February in Whitefish, and they're joining us here on the parade routes. They've it's been around in, since 1959, yeah. yeah. And they've been in many uh, stampede parades in the past, won multiple awards for uh, their float entries, and I see why. I like that jacket. He's got the moves. He's, <laughs> He's got, got the moves. moves. Whitefish, a popular spot for people up here in Calgary to go visit for sure. The Calgary Roundup Band is coming up next. Uh, they've got Young Energy. Uh, they are one of Canada's oldest junior marching bands. They've got those blue, black, and white uniforms that we all know about. Here they are. They were formed in 1956 by Calgary Police Services. As the Calgary School Safety Patrol Band, the Calgary Roundup Band has entertained audiences from Europe to Australia and throughout North America. Are they playing? We should have a little listen in. <laughs>
good morning to you. Welcome back as we continue our live coverage of the 107th annual Stampede Parade, now well underway mm -hmm. here in Calgary. Yeah, Joel Senek along with Dallas Flex Hog and all of you taking part as we watch this great annual tradition here in our city kicking off Calgary Stampede. I've been waiting for it for so long, Dallas. I've been literally Xing the calendar, counting the sleeps. Xing the calendar, counting the sleeps. What I love about the parade every year is you get the traditional ones, the floats that mm -hmm. you see every year that you look forward to, and you always get something new thrown in there I as know. well. We're going to head back out live to the parade to give you a look now at uh, the Honor Guard Marching Troop Band and Veterans Association. This, of course, the RCMP Honor Guard. Uh, Red Surge presence in the Calgary Stampede Parade every year for 107 years. So this year, no different. Long-standing relationship with the Calgary Stampede as it's uh, got a big place in history around Southern Alberta. It really is. Obviously, we appreciate their service so much and that's why they're front and center in this parade. Uh, veterans also part of this ensemble. Um, and the Brewster bus that we're going to see coming up here in, in a bit. Uh, and obviously the, the Northwest Mountain Police Veterans Association, a, a big part of all of this, created back in 1876. And as you mentioned, Dallas, uh, you know, this group not missing a parade. That is commitment that we appreciate. <laughs> yeah, and we love to watch them as well. As we listen to those bagpipes, always nice to hear, right? So the person with the biggest smile today, perhaps, as part of the RCMP veterans is Calgary resident Doreen Clausen, who is the great, great Dan granddaughter of Constable John Stutterford of Cornwall, England, who joined the newly created NWMP in 1874, marched west to bring stability to Canada's west. So if that's not a piece of history, I don't know what <laughs> it is. Oh. That is a deaf piece of history. And she definitely will have a big smile and on her And she will be face. in that vehicle right there, I believe, with those uh, RCMP vets. That is the Boosters bus right there as they wave on to the crowd. Um, and uh, get Whoa. the... <laughs> there we go. Can't get enough of those old vehicles. Love to see those uh, stroll on down the street as well as we take a look at uh, more. Oh, I thought that was a horse. That's not a horse. That is not a horse. That is a big <laughs> horse that for is not sure. a horse. This is Wild West <laughs> Willie. He's, uh, oh, you know, a mere 2,800 pounds. Just, just that, hey? <laughs> He's a vet, too. He's been here for 14 stampedes. He knows you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to mess <laughs> with Wild West Willie. I don't think. <laughs> okay, so here's the uh, Calgary Tai Chi and Martial Arts College. Uh, I don't want to mess with these guys either. Martial mm -hmm. Arts College, uh, Master Chai. He is the uh, leader of this young group, um, and they uh, they they mean business. <laughs> They're going down there. They mean business. Um, obviously, great for young people and still is discipline and all that. Uh, and I'm assuming that's Master Chai right there. Look at that float. Doing the wave. That's a great float. Everyone else is walking. He gets yeah. the good seed in the house, He's right? He's the master, right? He is the master, uh, as he it goes. should. Uh, this, theme, uh, this year's theme, actually, for this float is bring out your inner dragon, Dallas. Um, Let's have a look at what they're going to do here. some of that inner dragon right there. Yeah, so the inner dragon means that we all have the potential to develop our inner energy to overcome our own waterfalls of life, turn into the dragons that live inside mm. of all of us. Some good life lessons. I like that. That's an inspirational piece of information there. <laughs> Next up, we've got another show band. Uh, this one from the Netherlands. Another small -er show band. 32 active members from all three northern provinces. They're all about 20 years old or so. Again, taking part in that world championship. That and, is taking part yeah. in our city right now. And I think it's important to note, not only with our show band, but the ones that we're seeing here from around the world, they're really uh, experienced 
in performing in events like this. They've been on big stages. This one in particular from the Netherlands has performed in London um, and we're a world record holder of the longest musical march, 75 kilometers. Okay, that's too long. <laughs> And someone's holding a tuba for 75 kilometers? Hey, it's a good exercise, I guess. You talked about the Fitbit earlier. You get your steps in, 75K? I think so. Well, they are world class, so let's have a little listen in. As they just stopped. <laughs> Uh, right that's okay. Here. They are world class. It's a world champion. So yes, they are experienced and that is why they are in here in our city competing for it. Uh, next up. Canadian Pacific Little General and the Canadian Pacific Police are just coming up right now, but we are going to head back down on the street with our Leslie Horton keeping an eye on everything parade this morning. Leslie. Yeah, you bet. That CP rail train was a pretty loud one, wasn't it, as it's going by here? The Little General from uh, CP, and that is going to be followed by Women of the Wild West. So we wanted to catch up with a couple of the folks that came to take in the parade, including Thomas and Sarah, who came from quite far away. Where's home? Um, in England, in Stonemaspo. Sounds lovely. So this is your first time to Canada? Yeah. First time to the Calgary Parade? Yeah. And you had a favorite that you wanted to see? Uh, the Marshal? Uh, Marshal Marshal. Yeah. The Parade yeah. Marshal, Amanda Marshall. Did you see her? Yes, I did. Um, we had a picture with her. Uh, <gasps> Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What do you think of the parade so far, Sarah? Oh, it's amazing. It's so exciting to be here. I'm just, I can't believe it. It's lovely. I'm really pleased to be in Canada. So. so usually on parade day, we have hot sunshine. So sorry that we couldn't give that to you this year, but um, at least it's not raining as hard as it was. Have you ever seen so many horses in your life? No, no, no. I know. And you have horses, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's so many horses. There's hundreds of them in this parade. So have fun. Enjoy your trip to Canada. Enjoy your trip to Stampede. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Toby and Sarah. In from uh, England to take... Thomas. Sorry. Sorry, Thomas. In from <laughs> England to take in the Calgary Stampede Parade. And we've got some of the ladies of the Wild West here just going past us now, Dallas and Joel. Uh, thank you so much. And you'll notice that theme throughout the parade as we continue our coverage here, the women of the Wild West. So watch for that. Mm -hmm as we continue our 107 Stampede Parade coverage right here on Global News. Stay with us. We're back right after this as we take a look at the Penticton Peach Festival float as we head to break. Good morning and welcome back. We're about a half an hour into the 107th annual Stampede Parade. It's well underway. We've already seen some great performances, some smiling faces on the ground. A lot of young people, which is great. More than 300,000 people, Dallas, expected to take part watching the parade today. And we'll see what those numbers turn out to be with the weather. The rain seems to be holding off. You were taking a look there at the Calgary Regional Trail Riders. They were founded in 1998, the last time that there was rain on the Stampede Parade, <laughs> by the way. Uh, and they've participated in the Stampede Parade every year since. Yeah, so they've awesome. got 150 people as part of their group, and they're all horse enthusiasts. That's awesome. 
Uh, okay, so we're about to look here at the Southern Alberta Pioneers and their descendants. Now, uh, this entry uh, contains descendants from the original pioneers who settled here 1890. So obviously, super important to have them as a part of all of this. Uh, with their independence, hard work, and everything, they were able to make it work. Uh, as we have some smiling faces there, I believe the family there on the left from England. A lot of people coming from all over the place. <laughs> yeah, Leslie chatted with them um, not a short time ago. Well, it is a big tourist draw from people it right is. across the world, not just because uh, of the stampede itself. We've also got that world championship mm -hmm. band competition going on. You heard a nice big Yahoo out there. And I understand the men in kilts are coming up. Did Ooh. we see them already? Uh, we haven't seen them yet. They're coming. Okay, they're coming up. That's always a, it's always a good one. And we do have to mention there they are, the weather holding out for the men in kilts as well. <laughs> The largest, second largest parade, the Calgary Stampede is in North America, right after the Rose Bowl Parade, which of course is held in California. The men in kilts, I believe, oh, maybe that's not who we're seeing right now. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. But there's, a, there's women yes. in kilts down there too, Joel. Okay, just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> and a big no, boob. And a big boob. The poop kicker. That's the poop kicker. Kicker right there. Uh, important on a day like today to have that poop kicker with the more than 200 horses on the parade route throughout this morning. A ring holding off because that poop gets a little bit soggy <laughs> as well. Out there on the street, men and Celts, I think they've been a part of the parade for a long time as well. Time for another show band. This one, a popular one. You've probably seen it before. The Calgary Stetson Show Band formed in 1988. That, of course, the year of the Calgary Olympics as a marching show band for senior high school students. I think they're about to play, so let's have a listen in. You were listening to the Calgary Stetson band there. Were you singing along in your head? Cake by the Ocean? That's what it was. I was like Talk trying to, to think, what song is that? It's killing me. I couldn't remember the name. Thank you. This is why you have a co-anchor. Yeah, the DNCE <laughs> group, I think, uh, with the former Jonas Brothers. Yep. Your yep. favorite, Joel. Oh, I know. And that's why they played it. I think they knew. Okay, so I my other favorite is Leslie Horton. Sure, whose new favorite cowboy is Aaron Pritchett, I believe. So. All right, let's go down to Leslie on the grounds. Leslie. Do you see him somewhere? Is he somewhere? Is he near me right now? <laughs> you I'm know he's have... somewhere. I know he's somewhere. I'm going to have to find him. Um, I've still got the smell of him in my jacket and in my hair, which I'm really quite enjoying. Uh, great to be down here on the sides of the road. Uh, from the point of view of being on the ground here, the rain continues to stay away. It's actually drying up a little bit. It's not super warm, but drying up a little bit. That's awesome. We've got some chuck wagon drivers uh, that are going in uh, past here. Raymond Stewing, how's that for a name? Hello. 
hello, truck wagon drivers. And then uh, Nordic Energy is coming by. And then we've got some more of the uh, Stampede folks, uh, the Outriders. So the, the Outriders are coming by here. So yeah, lots of horse poop, as you said, uh, Dallas, for sure. You know, that life of an Outrider, that's got to be uh, some kind of... Uh, Oh, there's right in front of us. All right then. Okay, right there. All right then. Uh, the life of an outrider. That's got to be some kind of uh, crazy life. Like imagine what they do. They go from rodeo to rodeo, uh, riding for whoever's going to pay for them that night. Boy, they work hard. They're some of the hardest workers in the Stampede uh, for sure. Rest Westerner Days from Red Deer, which is officially taken over as uh, oh no, it lost the title. Lethbridge is the third largest city. It took that title from Red Deer. So Red Deer is trying to come back with a vengeance. We're keeping our eye out for uh, Matthew here because he has popped onto a float and we're hoping to catch up with him. Thought it might be this one, but it's not. This is the Canadian Fjord Horse Association. Look at the beautiful color of those uh, blondy horses. Very nice. And then Draft Horse Town. This is where Matthew is. You guys, Matthew's coming. Let's, let's try and catch up with him. Can you stick with me for just a minute so that we can uh, try and get Matthew? Okay, so this is Draft Horse Town. I'm gonna sneak a little bit this way. You tell me if I'm going too far away and you start to lose me, okay? Draft Horse Town. Matthew, where are you? Where's our Matthew? Hi. Oh no, they've lost Matthew. Okay, well, I don't know where he is. He was uh, going to be in that um, entry, but he's not theirs. So he's somewhere, and here comes the first set. Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. 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 I'm so excited. How is it? How is it? I'm never coming down. I know. Do you love it? It's amazing. Do you love waving? I love waving. Do you love like watching the horses poop right in front of you? Uh, you know, but we've got these guys behind us, so it's okay. Pooper scoopers. Job. Hi, hi. Have fun. When are you getting off? Minutes. Okay, then come back. Okay. Come back. Yay! There's Matthew. There's Matthew having fun on uh, the Draft Horse Town entry, followed by the Pooper Scoopers. I don't know if that was planned. I'm just saying. Matthew and the Pooper Scoopers. Here we go, Dallas and Joel. I love these Pooper Scoopers. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi there. Love the Pooper Scoopers. It's Stampede. Everything's got to be Stampede like on parade day. Yeah, Back to you, fancy, Dallas and Joel. Fanciest pooper scooper I've ever seen. Right? Nice to hey. see Matthew. I thought he was already trying to bang down the doors at Nashville and the North. Well, not, yeah. not realizing that it's not quite a yet. Uh, he would too, right? Yeah. That's Conrad. Uh, I like the tight shot of the pooper scoopers. It's probably a good time for us to take a little commercial break, but we're not going away for long. Only about a minute. So don't go anywhere. We have more 107th Stampede Parade after this. And good morning to you. Welcome back as we take a bird's eye view of the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. Well underway as uh, we kick off a lot of history, a lot of new things about the parade this year and a lot of traditions. Yes, and the 107th annual parade. We've already seen so much show bands, royalty, and this one Amazing. is incredible. Yes. Talk to me about this one, Dallas, because this is notable. <laughs> okay, so this year is extra special for the Cowley family at Cowley's Raptor 6 Ranch. Yahoo! Uh, this year, Stan Cowley rides in his 80th consecutive Calgary Stampede Parade. How many? 80. 80. 80. He started when he was just three years old, when his dad built a float for the Hudson's Bay Company, invited him to his very first parade, and uh, he's along with his wife, Gloria Cowley. That is incredible <laughs> 80th and so not only is it his 80th but his wife's 44th his son david's 40th his son thomas's 36th daughters carrie 30, or catry rather 34th daisy 27th they have, a, they have a streak going on here that i'm like stampede royalty or queen princess uh princesses rather visiting royalty as well because there's obviously rodeos going on uh, across the region so they're all coming here to show off as well. We all like our big white hats. We, we all want to be white hatted. <laughs> it is like the top honor for every Calgarian and a Smith built hat. Bottom 
messages in that one. Nice and colorful float. Yeah. We like to see them uh, pop by through the Calgary Stampede every year as I well. I really like uh, that one there. They've obviously been doing uh, their great work since 1918. That's the great thing about this parade, Dallas. I think that gives us a chance to reflect on all the great organizations that are operating not only here in Calgary, but in Canada and some even internationally. And the history, the great history behind so many of these groups um, that are taking part. Let's take a listen to this band for a little bit and then I'll tell you about them. Dresden Band, again, lots of bands in this Stampede Parade because of the competition that's happening throughout our city, just following on the same time. We're going to head back out uh, to our Leslie Horton, keeping an eye on things on the ground, Les. Yeah, you can tell us. Uh, it's HMCS Calgary. This, Dallas, is the Navy that I was concerned about earlier, but they look surprisingly clean to me. I've got a young friend in here somewhere. Oh, there he is doing the march. Hey, Zach! Look over here. I don't think they're allowed to look over here. They look surprisingly very clean, don't they? The Navy. Remember, Matthew, we were concerned about them earlier that they were going to get all muddy and um, and wet, but they're looking very clean and pristine. Surprisingly clean. Surprisingly, surprisingly clean, clean and pristine, absolutely. As you are looking surprisingly handsome, my man, in your duds today. So last year it was like it was like half. It was, it was not half, good. It was half an outfit. Not good. Lamley's this year. Said we, we got to make you look better. Yeah. So boots, pants. I already had the belt from Lamley's also. Yeah. Shirt and this amazing hat, all Lamley's. So thank you so much, everyone at Lamley's, for making this. this now my now for I'm making now this boy from the six look like he's a boy from the west. Yes. Look at these boots. Now I have been with you all morning. I so show off this just oh, the, because yeah. I know you got to tuck, you got to put the pants over. Yeah. But I got I got to show the detail in there. Yeah, I've got some nice details yeah. too. Right? The little turquoise detail. Yep. And these Wranglers are looking really good on you. you know, I, went, like, I went for the slim fit. Yeah. But I, I needed the boot cut. Yeah. So it's the best of both worlds. Yeah. And Skinny, slim, but also parade appropriate. And does, you ha does your salad have all the appropriate products in it today under I, that hat? I put a little bit of product in the hair today, but you know, it's. it's oh, it's oh, just don't like, do that. Oh, no, no. 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 Oh, don't do that. Oh, no. I'll Once it's on. on. Once it's on, you don't take that off. Sorry, okay? sorry. You don't take that I'm off. I'm all oh. excited after riding in the, in, in, on the uh, on the Draft Horse Town wagon. At, oh, absolutely. Let's just acknowledge our army here because they're getting a big uh, a round of applause from the folks. How was it on the parade, on the float? It was really fun. We were in the staging area for a while, so I wasn't sure if the parade had actually started. Yeah. And then the uh, drivers brought in David. We're like, hey, we're ready to go. And then off we went. And then I kind of lost track of where we were, and all of a sudden this lady in the blue jacket came running up to me. I said, here we go. So it was a fun ride. I hope to do it again. It was it was great. It was nice to be with you. And you did some social while you were on the floor. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of stuff on Instagram and Facebook that you can go back and watch. Uh, talk to the guys about the history of Draft Horse Town and, oh, cool. and their place in the parade and some things that they're doing around Stampede. So And they have the biggest horses in Draft Horse Town, They were don't huge. They, they were yeah. huge. They told me the type of horses. I'm not a horse expert, so right. I, I forget. You're not a horseologist? I'm not a horseologist, yeah. uh, but uh, the horses, the guy's actually been with them. Uh, David has been with them for, I think, three or four years. So they're oh, like they're like yeah. his children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like his family. Do they live in his house? Yes, in his basement. In his basement. Remember that buffalo though that did? You were here. There's a buffalo that did live in somebody's house. Here we go with the Royal Canadian Navy. Oh, and look, the tanks are coming. The tanks are coming. Oh, I get way too excited at the parade. Let's see if they'll do a spinity do. Can you do a like, little spinny thing for us? Give us a spin, tanks. Give us a spin. Have a look at these guys, Dallas and Joel. They're going to do a spin. I just don't know if they're going to do it in front of us. Super cool, though. Here come the tanks. Always a highlight of the Stampede Parade for sure. They're bringing out a lot of gear. we got an armored recovery vehicle, a Leopard tank, a Lab 6, the G-Wagon, an M-Razor all-terrain vehicle used for military use as well, and the Panther. Don't forget the Panther. Do not forget the Panther. So as we watch here, we just have to talk... Listen, we have to talk to Lamleys, we have to talk mm -hmm. to Leslie Horton, we have to talk to Matthew Conrad because I just realized mm -hmm. that you're wearing dress shoes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Donna at Lamleys yeah. up here in Sunridge is going to be really disappointed. She tried to 
talk me in the boots. I just didn't get them yet this year. Okay. But I may get them later on. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. There's 10 days left in Stampede. You still have some time. We'll it really finishes the outfit and you'll we'll love that. We'll see how, uh, how much uh, blowback I get. Uh, I do want to say this as we see our great Canadian forces out here. I think it's a great time to just, you know, say thank you to them and all that they do. Stationed all around the world, keeping us safe. Um, and it's great to see them being recognized here uh, in this parade because they are such an important part of not only what we have going on in our city, but our freedom and uh, our safety here in this great country we call Canada. And look at all their fancy gear, right? And talk about dedication. Just before we head to break, as we take a look at this, we want to mention all the volunteers as well. 9,000 mm -hmm. hours of volunteer work goes into putting on this parade alone. I so couldn't, kudos to that. I couldn't believe it's only 140 dip volunteers. And I say only because I thought it would be more given the gravity and the uh, nature of this parade. You're not going to make me do math, are you? 9,000 <laughs> hours divided by 120 workers? Uh, getting a little away from the military, the Army, the Navy, all of uh, all of the crew there as we take a quick shot of the crowd yeah. as we head to break here on your 107th Stampede Parade coverage right here on Global News. Stay with us. Good morning and welcome back to the 107th annual Calgary Stampede Parade. The parade, well, has been going on for just under an hour so far and we've been looking at all the sights, hearing all the great sounds and seeing all the great smiling faces along the route. And watching that rain hold off just nicely for everyone. It's like it was meant to be. Let's take a look at this. Some great dancers and music coming up at Roots of Peru. Roots of Peru, Rices del Peru. I'll be uh, correcting on that Spanish later. Uh, <laughs> they're doing their traditional dance, La Diablada. Why don't we just listen since we can't pronounce anything? <laughs> Okay, some pretty cool costumes mm -hmm. on that one for sure. Going to take you just south of Calgary to Lethbridge and District Exhibition Park. Yeah, this is the uh, fourth oldest agricultural society in Alberta taking part here. Their first fair back in 1897 has hosted more than a, a century of great events and we're happy to have them here with us. Lethbridge Mayor giving us a little bit of wave uh, Thumbs up. to the spectators Thumbs along up. the parade route. And everyone loves a train. Who doesn't love a train? This is the Mirror Lake Express train from the Camrose Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, built back in the, the 1970s and then uh, it was purchased by the Camrose and District Chamber of Commerce back in 2008. Uh, and now we get it here. It's won a lot of awards, Edmonton, Panoka, uh, and in 2018 at the Stampede Parade it won the best municipal entry. Ah, oh, very cool. Yeah. It, that's a good seat to be in if you're in the parade because <laughs> uh, what do we say, 6,300 steps to complete the entire route? Why not just ride a train? <laughs> Why not just ride a train? Or ride a horse. The Windy Ridge Riders Association formed back in 1988 and it's uh, working with young people, hosting clinics to work on techniques to improve horse and rider knowledge. Um, something that I could use because I will say uh, I've been on a horse a couple times in my life and it hasn't gone well for me. Really? I gotta <laughs> yeah. bring you out to my parents ranch and we'll throw you on one of the horses. No saddle. He's gonna go bareback, folks. Let's Oof. talk about the Dimesh Cultural Center. You see the Sikh community there, uh, well represented here in the 107th Calgary Stampede. Yeah, and their float is actually representative of traditional Sikh faith and the three basic principles to work, meditate, and share. So you can share that oh. horse knowledge with me on your ranch at I some point. I think we could all <laughs> take some life lessons from those three things, right? And is that some special dancing behind as well? We just lost that shot, but a pretty cool float, yeah. all decked out. I love to see these, and I can only imagine the manpower that goes in 
to putting one of these things together and then making sure it works mm -hmm. on the day of. Well, and we were talking about all the volunteer hours to get the parade just underway. Think about all the hours taken by people to put those floats together, the routines together, work on the music, so many more thousands of hours by people to make the parade what it is, what we're seeing today. And we just get to sit here and talk about it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a cool little contraption. Never seen anything like that. <laughs> Neither Looks am like I. The fans, are, uh, <laughs> fans are enjoying that one. Wow. I, uh, the one thing I've really enjoyed watching uh, throughout the last hour or so that we've been on air is just the smiling faces on the side of the route uh, and so many young people out and about watching, you know. It's something great for the whole family uh, and it speaks to the importance and, and the gratitude we have for all those man hours given to make this parade what it is. Okay, there's a big dino. Right, that, that, isn't that the, the dinos, the UFC That's dinos dino. mascot as well? It's Rex. That is Rex. That is Rex. I was it. <laughs> I was a dino spectator. I didn't play any university sports, but yeah, there but you go. Yeah, but you're there. You're still a dino. I, oh, all of those smiling faces in the crowd, too, because this rain has held out. It was a hairy morning, Joel, because mm -hmm. uh, the staging area at Fort Cali, where, where a lot of those floats, they all go. Through out the morning as well, just because there was too much water. There were puddles on the ground, and mm -hmm. a lot of these floats are so heavy uh, that they had to move, move to different streets. So we weren't sure how this was all going to come together, but in true Stampede fashion, it does. So far, so good. And we were just talking about the amount of time it takes to put some of these floats together. Rex, there, 400 hours to create. So that gives you a sense of how much time is spent by people giving their own time uh, to put on this parade and to be a part of it uh, for our enjoyment. And taking a look at the Satina First Nation, their entry into the parade. Uh, they are located just southwest of Calgary, within the city limits though. They're known for teaching their young men to hunt the food, that they prepare the food, at least over winter. And it is a tradition that continues mm -hmm. today. And once again, the riders in the wagon and on horseback, they're dressed in their regalia riding outfits, which is so beautiful. And up close, looking at the beating of those outfits is just incredible. And some of these riders, the participants, have been taking part in the stampede for more than 50 years uh, so as kind of it's been a theme there's been a multiple themes to this parade but one of them so far has been how long people have been part of this tradition uh, they know this route well one could say <laughs> are those spotted horses are those alapalooza horses they're beautiful they are i'm asking not the horse guy the type <laughs> of horses. A, okay and are these the clydesdales i don't know someone's gonna just set me straight or i'll just stop talking about horses right <laughs> this is the oklahoma express Horses and Legends, a vintage group of Western riders from Express Ranches in Oklahoma that portray 1912 Oklahoma characters riding special leopard Alapalooza horses that there are on display, go. actively involved in the Calgary Stampede. And we're definitely welcome, or happy to have them. It's, uh, as I'm talking about themes, another one is just how many people come from all over, not only North America, but the world. We're going to see even some more performances coming up. Uh, we've had some show bands from Germany. Germany, the Netherlands, ours obviously, and we see people uh, in the crowd from all over the place. We've talked to people from England, and it's great that we can show off our city in this manner. Well, look at that pink cowboy hat. <laughs> A lot of these kids were, were woken up. <laughs> yeah. Dragged on the parade route well before wake time, but they look like they are awake and alert now, always enjoying the parade. A salute to the 100th anniversary of the 1990 Victory Stampede mm -hmm. and Parade. It is a special year for the parade as we are about halfway done now, and your coverage right here on Global News continues right after this. And we are back here as we continue our coverage of the Stampede Parade right here on Global News, a bird's eye view of what's going on down on the ground. Yeah, it's been great so far, just over an hour into the Stampede, um, about halfway through all the floats. And we're excited to see this one, Calgary Fountain Daffa Association. This is a one of a kind magical vessel. Dallas sails majestically across the sea. It's received more than 12 awards from top parades across North America, and I can see why. Not only do we have great colors, great designs, but we have great performance. 
performance as well going on in the floats. Well, it is sailing majestically down <laughs> uh, Calgary streets this morning as well. I believe they had this one in the uh, parade last year, if I remember correctly. Some great costumes for sure. Once again, the parade marshal this year is Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> Amber Marshall. Amber Marshall, you'll know her from Heartland. Uh, just the next one who joins the historic title. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of good ones. Bing Crosby, Lanny McDonald, William Shatner, Shatner uh, Chris Hadfield, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, don't forget about Minnie Mouse, though. Oh, Minnie Mouse as well. As well, yeah. She would have been good this year, too, as we celebrate uh, the women of the Wild yes. West. Women yes. of the Wild West and Disneyland. Uh, we're about to see the Patriots marching band here in a second, uh, comprised of uh, high school students. And uh, they have uh, been marching since the summer of 1988 in a number of places. Bristol, Rhode Island, um, that's the U.S.'s oldest July 4th parade, which we just passed yesterday. Uh, once we get a little bit closer to them, it might be important for us to take a little bit of a listen. Given that yesterday was Independence Day. You can see both of the flags there in, in the, that they are holding just behind that banner as well. So let's have a little listen. That, that band was for, uh, boy, they're from Minnesota. Yep. And then, oh, here's the Shriners. They're from Minnesota, but did you notice that they had a hockey stick there? A, yep. a hat tip off to Canada. <laughs> this, these, the Shriners, they were my favorite as a kid. I okay. could not wait to see them. Why is that? Just the, the Because plane? they're in little planes and cool <laughs> hats. That's it. So this, uh, they've been in the Stampede Parade now since 1912, another one of those long serving uh, traditions here in our city. And they drive right up to the crowd. Are they going to do it? Oh, look at that. Around. Oh my gosh, my childhood memories, they're all coming back. <laughs> See, this is where I admit that this is only my second Stampede Parade. So this is all like new memory for me. I'm like, this is incredible. Right? And you don't even have cowboy boots yet. Maybe by your third Stampede, you'll have one. Exposed so the Shriners pass, yeah, again. So exposed again, <laughs> passing along a message from the Shriners. They would like to thank the people of Southern Alberta for their support over 100 years as they help provide excellent yep. orthopedics and burn care for children in need. So not just fancy hats and cool nope. planes, they do some really great work well, yeah. for children. They have a network of 22 hospitals for kids all across North America. Uh, and there are currently many patients from Alberta being treated at various uh, shrine hospitals, including the Canadian unit in Montreal. Uh, and their shrine center for Southern Alberta is actually located right here in Calgary. Oh, one of our viewers can correct me if I'm wrong, but the Shriners used to finish the parade. I think they always used to be the last step, so you knew the parade was ending, and they'd come give you a wave and drive by. They didn't have Sangways back in my day. <laughs> that a little is high new. five. I, uh, I like, they got a little bit of a, a routine there with the Segway. I feel like they're following each other in line, weaving in and out. Just behind them, the Alberta Thai Canadian Association. Uh, they are marching this year as well. Uh, and this year's theme, and again, I'll say this, I'll steal it from you, you can correct me if I'm wrong out here, uh, is a story of 
Kinnery and Naga. Sure. It's a half human, half bird creature known as Kinnery. It's a mythological creature, imagine that, believed to have watched over the well being of people in times of trouble and danger. Yeah, so what you're going to see here accompanied with the float are dancers dressed up in traditional Thai costume. Uh, they will be dancing to traditional Thai music as well. And the Alberta Thai Canadian Association, just to let you know, a nonprofit built to promote friendship, goodwill, and understanding between Thais and Canadians here in the city of Calgary, because we are just a thriving city with so many different cultures. And I love that that's on display here in the parade. Oh, can't stop staring at some of the costumes in the parade as well. They are just spectacular. Nice to see some um, traditions from other cultures taking part as we we continue our 107th Stampede Parade right here in Cowtown. Okay, and I think we have Leslie Horton standing by. She's been on the side of the parade route, uh, grabbing people, talking to them. She had Mr. Conrad earlier. I'm not sure if she has now. Leslie, how are you doing? I'm just I'm just good, 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 Joel. So, so fun down here at the parade route. I just love a parade. Um, I'm just going to social out a pic of Matthew with a couple of cops because they were thinking of arresting him for looking so good in his Lamley, uh, his Lamley's wear. So, oh, here they are. Oh, look at what's going on here. These are our winners of our big red chair competition. Matthew just making himself right at home over here. You got your blanket? Did Matthew get you some snacks? Oh, absolutely. I've been treated like a, a queen, really. As you should be. So you won and you brought your friend. And now you are feeling like every time you come to the parade, this should be the VIP treatment that you get. Yes. And breakfast. Yes. Yeah. But a little bit more sunshine next time, right. Lace. I know. Yeah. But this is your first Calgary Stampede Parade. Nicole. It is. Yeah. What, how are you feeling? And it didn't rain, so it's gorgeous. It's amazing. It's huge. Uh, it's way more than I ever expected. And it's a lot of fun. Everybody's excited about yeah. Stampede and you can just really feel the energy. Yeah, and it's interesting the various um, acts that go by, like the army gets a big round of applause yeah. and it's really, really emotional. Nice. Yeah. And and then you get um, you know a band from Germany and everybody is being very respectful and listening to them. It's a really nice event, isn't it? It's incredible and I didn't realize that there was going to be bands and and uh, it's a parade. What did you think was going to be there? All over the, ro all over the yeah, world. Well, the World Band yeah. Championship is in Calgary this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? Another reason why we gave you the big red chair, <laughs> right? What's going on over here? Well, we're, just, we're just getting to know each other. Oh. See, my uh, my nickname is Connie. So, oh, yeah, what yeah, is. Right. So, so Connie, yeah. Connie and Nicole. So, Connie and Connie and Nicole are uh, watching the big parade. You don't need anything? You don't need Matthew to bring anything? Oh, no. Been treated like royalty ourselves, like absolutely fine. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. The big Easy, red chairs. It's so, the, much fun. it's so much fun. This is the way to watch a parade. She says it's so much fun, and we've got who we've got coming up. Oh, it's the pedal pub. Okay, I'm gonna. I have to calm down. It's the pedal pub people. <laughs> coming, right? right. Not quite. Just calm down. Not it's quite the, the pedal, pedal pub, pub people. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big uh, bike wagon. The and big I, I, bike I wagon. <laughs> Yeah, it is the big bike. They're, they're not drinking. Well, they're not drinking that we can see. So it's the big bike people that are coming up. And then there's um, another band coming up. I think it's Calgary Pipes and Drums, looks to me. So lots of fun down here from the ground, guys. And continuing to stay dry, hey. which is pretty key for parade enjoyment factor, is way up there right now. Just curious, the badge you're wearing. Uh, were you... Oh, oh yes, I've been appointed a police helper. Oh. That happened just like three minutes ago. That's all it takes. Because I'm super helpful. So they, uh, the police came by and said less, and they gave one to Matthew too. Oh, no, they didn't. I'm special. Oh, I thought they were just giving them to anybody, but apparently I am pretty special. Um, yes, I'm a, I'm a certified police helper now. Oh, look, here they come with the pipes and drums and the kilts. Take a good look at that. I love these guys. I've seen them perform uh, several times. They're amazing. Have a listen to that.
we're back. The 107th annual Calgary Stampede Parade. The miniature horses just going by our area. The second year they've been involved, Dallas. Just the second? <laughs> yeah. I remember many horses every year as a kid, but maybe not this set, and maybe not this group. Yeah, the positive miniature horsemanship. The American Miniature Horse Association. So to be a miniature horse, you have to be under 34 inches. Mm -hmm. Apparently they're athletes. Mm. They make good driving horses, and they're good for therapy yeah. work, which is nice to see. Yeah, and that's the thing. Horses such good, are, are, are very good rather, for uh, therapy in a number of different conditions uh, that people are, are dealing with because they're very understanding animals. This is Heritage Park. They're throwing cheese buns into the hey. Take one of those. Grab one for me, Les. Butter tarts. Yeah. <laughs> the Calgary's largest living history museum. Uh, what we were just seeing there, the Heritage Park Historical Village. Yeah, moving right on to Treaty 7, Stony Nakoda Nations, Bears, Pachadiki, and Wesley. Great entry from them there. No shortage of horses here. They've been represented at Treaty Number no. 7 negotiations with the British Crown in 1877. They featured in their Calgary Stampede Parade entry our members in two wagons and Treaty 7 First Nations. They too dressed in some of their regalia. Yeah, okay. And next, the United Calgary Chinese Association is about to enter our screen. Um, they were established back in 1969 and they've been promoting Chinese culture <laughs> and Chinatown as That's well. That's not what they're promoting this year. <laughs> Did I miss something? Yeah, the theme, <laughs> the theme of this entry is build the Trans Mountain Pipeline in the year of the pig. Hey, why not? <laughs> it's been a big topic it of has. conversation to say the least lately. It has definitely been a big uh, topic and we're seeing it here on the uh, stampede, stampede route. Okay. We're, we're still okay, looking at yeah. the Stony Dakota First Nations here. It is the year of the pig, though, as we look at that. Let's talk about the Stony Dakota Nation. There's 4,000 mm -hmm. members. They live on the reserves in southwestern Alberta. That includes Morley, Rabbit Lake, Eden Valley, and um, Bighorn, I believe. And Stony Dakota got the name Stony because they were seen cooking with pots over flat hot rocks. Here Little is our United history. Calgary Chinese Association float. Uh, and again, let's repeat the theme. We see somebody there in, I believe, a yellow vest or a safety vest because the theme, build the Trans Mountain Pipeline in the year of the pig. I forgot it was the year of the this pig. This being the year of the pig. So this is a message to the politicians that are going to march later on, the federal politicians that are going to be in the parade. And we did see Premier Kenny earlier as well. Does that, do those dragon dances come with some music or is that a band later on? Let's have just a little quick listen in. That is absolutely mesmerizing. 4.8 kilometers of doing that uh, dragon dance. That's an arm workout for Better sure, but I can't shape. stop watching it. Uh, okay, so we're really excited about this next band, Fenferenzug Strasbourg. Uh, it started out as a high school band back in the 70s, but it has since kind of molded into youth, adults, younger children uh, in their hometown of Strasbourg, Germany. So, so get this, their third appearance at the Calgary Stampede Dallas, they have won four World Championship titles. Four. It's pretty so, good. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> so you know what? I think let's take a listen to the four-time World Championship show band.
Guys, Ogo Pogo is real oh. and floating down the Stampede Parade here in 2019. Did you see that recent video I of the did. latest Ogo Pogo? I did. That's a convincing one. Pretty convincing, I'll have to say that. Still wondering where all the other cell phones were, but <laughs> the jury's out. This is the city of Kelowna's Spirit Lake float, and that there is Ogo Pogo, this float called Spirit of the Lake. And riding on their parade float today is the current Lady of the Lake Royalty Ambassadors. Now, that program has been running for 88 years in Kelowna. Ogopogo, ambassadors, a little dance going on as well. Do you believe? You know what? Like you said, the jury is out. Yeah. <laughs> the jury is out. My brother, my younger brother, went through a phase where he watched just a ton of YouTube videos about right. Ogopogo okay. and was trying to convince me. So. And hmm. Bigfoot too? No, just Ogopogo. Just Ogopogo. Have you been out uh, the Kelowna Way before? I have, yes. Beautiful spot. Nice hot summers. Calgarians love it. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, Kelowna, a part of the Calgary Stampede. You're happy year. to have them as well. We're happy to have you be with us through these two hours. We're going to take a short break here, but we will be right back with more parade coverage after this. Hundred seventh annual Calgary Stampede Parade coverage continues, and guess what, Dallas? What? We're going commercial free until eleven o'clock. Wow! <laughs> Don't promise it. If that's not right, it's coming out of his paycheck. Ten twenty-five here on your Friday. What a great time we've had here this morning, and that rain has really held off. It was the biggest worry of the morning mm -hmm. and last night, and everything just came up roses for this parade. Obviously, we're watching through a monitor. You're watching through your screens at home, but the weather has looked like it's held off. There's been some sunny patches, and we've really got a chance to experience this parade in Calgary again with Mother Nature being like, you know what, we'll give you these two hours. You can have these two hours. I was just looking at that float said lick the spoon, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all about it. And this looks like Max from CN, Canadian yeah. National Railway, has arrived. Their 100th anniversary. They're celebrating that this year. A true backbone to our economy, obviously, shipping goods all over the country. Um, a, a team of 24,000 railroads transporting more than $250 billion worth of goods annually. And I don't know if they always do it to Shania Twain music, but today, let's do it. Now it gets you going on a Friday morning for sure. We just saw those sweepers go through before the break. And a reminder, oh, see, they're two-stepping. We don't need to do it. Look at them go. <laughs> Getting into the Stampede spirit. A reminder that after the Stampede Parade from 11 until 1.30 today, it's free admission to get into the ground. So you can just head on over the ground. Those pretty donuts will be hot. The dill pickle pizza will be hot. The fried yep. chicken skins will be hot. The snicker hot dog doodle deep fried something all the food that you're going to be eating in the next 10 days, I can tell you've made a list. <laughs> I've made, and I've got vegetarian corn dogs this year. Okay. I, I, I stick to tradition. I always get a lemonade and, um, and the mini donuts. The mini donuts are key. I don't go to any sort of uh, fair or festival and not get the mini donuts. You have to have them. So, uh, what you're looking at here, the AGH University of Science and Technology concert band uh, from Poland. So again, all over the world, people coming to the Calgary Stampede Parade and showing off. Let's take a listen to this.
Jason, uh, you're noticing an unprecedented number of bands marching in this year's parade. The 2019 World Association of Marching Show Bands competition is being held July 4th to the 7th. It just happens, Dad. It ha happened to fall at the same time as Stampede. It's at Stampede Park. Bands from as far away as Germany as we've seen, Austria, Taiwan, New Zealand, they're all a part of the parade this year. Yeah. Over 1,400 participants marching the route. And we're so happy to have them. Hey, look who it is. It's a beaver. It's a beaver. <laughs> it's a beaver. The uh, Parks Canada Mounted Color Party, that's who you're looking at right there, uh, represents the working horses of the Mountain National Parks. And they're obviously around here with a beaver. Yeah, but, well, as they would. A Canadian <laughs> national treasure here <laughs> at this Calgary Stampede. Uh, this beaver would have been really hot last year. It was like 40-something yep. degrees. Some pork. <laughs> We're seeing all the wildlife. <laughs> we are seeing all the wildlife. Well, it's because the, there as the well. Parks Canada corporate float followed uh, them as well. Um, we have obviously 47 national parks in <laughs> our province. And <laughs> <laughs> and let's celebrate lifeguards too while we're at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of tourists here as well. No doubt be making their way uh, throughout the parks uh, during their trip as well. Why wouldn't they? So beautiful here as we live just on the edge of the Rocky Mountains. I think we're heading into another band. Yeah, another band from Germany. I think we've got probably three or four already. Yeah, quite a uh, few. From Germany. Um, you know what? I'm just going to leave this pronouncer alone. Yeah, <laughs> this, this band's been around since 1958. Yeah. If they're still playing, let's have a listen. And it looks like they are just passing us, so let's go right back down to the parade route. Our very own Leslie Horton standing by. Leslie. Yeah, you bet. This is fantastic, eh? The Nigerian Canadian Association of Calgary. And all of their dancing, I'm not sure what their moves are, but I love their moves. And they've got beautiful costumes as well. well I could do with a little bit of a dance lesson. Yeah, very nicely done. That's awesome. Uh, down here, guys, uh, the smiles continue to be huge and the crowd reaction continues to be great. It is definitely drying up now, which is certainly adding to the uh, fun of the morning. Oh, look, here's the YMCA. I do like a good version of YMCA. Oh, I forgot. There we go. YMCA. I love our YMCA. I love. Oh, and you've got a bubble machine. How fun is that? So you can see there's lots of fun. There's some crowd interaction with these folks going uh, to the sides of the crowds. Who's loving the parade today? Yeah, not bad, eh? Who's been here since like five in the morning? Is that only me? Yeah, I'm the only one. Nice that it dried up, right? Super nice that it dried up, but here we've got uh, some more folks. Here come some of those big, big horses. What are those big, big horses called? Are they the Percherons? They might be the Percherons. I'm just going to pop down here and see if I can see. Like, they've got the biggest feet in the world. Oh, it's Guns of the Golden West. So I'm not sure if it's the Percherons, but more horses coming. The crowd is into it, having a, a good time with the folks in the parade. I can't see the end of it yet. have been from um, overseas international marching bands they have been a big big hit here this morning okay was there just like did I just about get abducted by a knight in shining armor was it Aaron Pritchett was that who came for me was it Aaron Pritchett lots of fun down here guys I'm gonna go to the side where there's no horses because they're bigger than me that horse was just backing up right into <laughs> Leslie. So cool to see, though. This is like a jousting thing. The Tilt and Lance Cavalry. Yeah. It's, Very cool. It, in recent years, the equestrian sport of jousting has enjoyed a revival internationally. Uh, actually, Dallas. Well, it's cool to go medieval now. It is. Uh, just a note about the YMCA we saw a moment ago. They've been part of the Calgary community since 1902, oh. so it's good to point that out as uh, they do their YMCA thing. So this is yeah. the Guns of the Golden West Association. Uh, and now they kind of recreate a, recreate a small street scene from the 1880s that you can take part in. Oh. See, I'm assuming that's a replica. Um, and it's kind of from the time where, you know, the sheriff would be beside the bank and try to ward off robbers that way. Right. Uh, they were a small group here in Calgary, founded back in 1981. Now more than 40 members Men, women, children, all ages taking part. 
That looks like fun. I just picture the doo -doo -doo. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's the bank robber. You were right. You called it. You didn't believe me, did you? I didn't believe you. <laughs> I thought he already got away with the cash. <laughs> they never get away with the cash. It's the first rule of bank robbery. <laughs> Is get away with the cash? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Playing out a scene here, right along the stampede route. And so, as we uh, had seen, or I said rather, 40 members from Calgary, um, obviously in an older time establishing law and order in early frontier towns was tough, often unsuccessful, a little bit different situation than we have here, which they're uh, recreating for us on the street of Calgary this morning. And you know, you can see these guys at not just the parade, but maybe birthdays, corporate events, maybe the bosses uh, will bring them in. Team builder. Team building. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about history for a minute because this parade, 2019, it marks the 100th anniversary of Guy Wiedek's victory stampede, which was held in honor of Canadian soldiers returning from the First World War. So mm -hmm. again, you're going to notice a lot of the military presence as uh, we take a look back at history and head into the future here on your 107th Stampede Parade. When you talk about that stampede a hundred years ago, a really an important time for the people then because they just come off uh, the Great War, people coming home, and it was a chance for us to celebrate that and uh, just getting back to normal, things not being war times anymore, uh, an important event. That As we're here on the 107th Stampede Parade. There were no iPhones back there then. There were no iPhones. Taking a look at the Calgary Japanese Community Association. This is their entry. Lots of people taking part in this one. Reminiscent of traditional festivals held in Japan. Today, you would see this on the streets of Japan today. If they were holding a festival. There's a festival card which shows off some tradition. The omikoshi on top. Traditional Japanese miniature shrine. Yeah, and the costumes based on historical attire. Um, the association has been active in the Calgary community since before the Second World War. And uh, the entry that you're seeing here represents a true collaboration, in, in, in their words, that bridges the generations of Japanese Canadians here in Calgary. Look at the rain covers on their drums. They were ready for anything. They were ready and well prepared, and they sound great as well. Should we have a little listen? Let's do it. Well, I was going to say, do they have to draw straws for who has to pull the cart? For who has to pull the cart. Fair enough. Maybe they switch off. Rolling right into another band. This is the Red Deer Royals Marching Show Band. Numbering 98 members now celebrating the 50th year. The Red Deer Royals are Central Alberta's world-class marching show band. Hopefully they're going to play for us here coming up right away. Yeah, once they do, we'll take a little listen in. People uh, in the show band between the ages of 12 and 20, all from that Red Deer area. And an award-winning program locally, internationally, like a lot of these bands are. Um, but it's only part of this program, the music. Leadership, teamwork, respect, a sense of pride, also very important to these young people. Let's take a listen.
Okay, I listen, Red Deer Royals marching show band, if mm -hmm. we were keeping points, they just scored 100 <laughs> from me because they just played Justin Bieber. Sorry, Justin Bieber, true Canadian treasure. True Canadian treasure <laughs> and icon, I'll add that as well. <laughs> and what a great song. And they did so well playing that. Nice to see, nice to hear. And that's why they are a internationally recognized and award-winning show band. They're from Red Deer, our backyard. Treaty 7 Blackfoot Confederacy made up of four nations. These nations include the North Pekani, Siksika, Southern Pekani, and the Kainai or Blood Tribe. The four nations come together to make up what is known as the Blackfoot Confederacy, meaning that they have banded together to help out one another. Now, as a group, they all speak the same Blackfoot mm -hmm. language. Archaeological evidence suggests that Blackfoot people have been around here for over 4,000 years. And I can tell you the Central Library uh, downtown They've recently added some books in there oh, with yeah? the Blackfoot language. Oh. You can go check out, and they've got them all set out. That's awesome to yeah. hear. Yeah. Another great space here in our city, too. I just recently got the chance to go see the library. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a good one. Uh, we still see uh, the Blackfoot Confederacy here. Uh, also important to note that the nations have their own separate governments ruled by a head chief, but they regularly come together for religious and social celebrations. Um, today, the only nation that resides within the U.S. boundaries is in Montana. Uh, and we're happy to have them here in our parade. Once again, all these costumes are just incredible. Mm -hmm. They're traditional regalia, and people of all ages taking part uh, on this float. They get a nice seat on the parade. That, again, is 4.8 kilometers, would take about, hi, Leslie, 6,300 <laughs> steps to get through every step of the parade. Let's go back down to our Leslie Horton, who we just saw there, keeping an eye on things on the ground. I am literally the person that waves at every single entry as it goes by. I forget how much I love a parade until it's parade day again and then I'm all excited to be uh, uh, down here. The beautiful um, horses that just went through the Pekani and Kainai, uh, those horses with those riders and the intricacy of their uniforms and the face paint and even their hair. When you get up close, it is just stunning. Very nice to see. Here we have AUPE coming through and they're going to be followed by yet another marching band. And this one appears to have some costumes and some dancers in the front of it. Take a look at this and let's find out who this is. So, well, since we are on the ground for you. I'm going with Mexico, an, uh, an, an international marching band from Mexico. And look at these costumes. Look at her beautiful dress. And look at the dress of the uh, young people in the front. Fantastic. Even with the band members, can you get a close-up look at the intricacy of their sashes there? So another of the international marching bands. I've lost track of how many we've had today, but the music has been outstanding, has it? It's just been stunning. So here we go with the... Have a listen to these folks. I think they were expecting the weather to be a little bit warmer possibly than what we have right now with their little costumes. Coming up here, we've got the uh, Chinese Association. So expect some more intricate costumes to come through with this float. And this is one of the fan favorite floats that is coming through here. So it's been uh, stunning and so much fun on the ground. It's drying up nicely, so folks still have their blankets over their knees because it's not that warm down here. But the fact that we're not sitting in the rain anymore, like it was raining from 6 to about 8.45, is pretty nice from those of us who are, are uh, roadside for the parade. Dallas, Joel. Well, back to that band for a second. They may not be Justin Bieber, but they're from Cholula, Mexico. And if you've had the Cholula hot sauce, they score points for that one as well. The Quetzalcoatl Adol marching band from Cholula, Mexico. Nice to listen to them yeah. there. Great to have them here as well. This is the Canada-China Chamber of Commerce Association. And as Leslie mentioned, what a float that they put together there. Uh, this year's theme 
for their float is the, the Silk Road. It represents the cultural bridge between East and West. The Silk Road was an ancient network of trade routes that connected the East and West, promoted co commodity exchange, and was central to cultural interaction between the regions for many centuries. So there's a mouthful. Just playing catch up here, the Taipei First Girls High School Marching Band. Some great costumes here. Mm -hmm. Very Gwen Stefani, if you're into that uh, era of Gwen <laughs> Stefani. Uh, the are they playing now? Oh yeah, the Harajuku. Uh, this is the school's first First visit to Canada. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the 2019 Calgary Stampede. Let's have a listen. They are playing a little Shakira a little for Shakira. us this morning. A lot of uh, great song choices by the show band this morning. So many hours of practice go into a performance, not just to get the music right, to get the marching right, yeah. to get those moves right. For sure, you got to have it all, all good. And as we said, that's the Taipei First Girls High School Marching Band you just heard from. Now let's go back down to Leslie Horton on the side of the parade route. Well, I was just talking to one of their um, handlers as they were going by and we noticed those beautiful costumes. It was actually a dragon that was embroidered in. Of course, the dragon, hugely important in the culture, dragon embroidered into those costumes as a sign of good luck. So just a little tidbit that I wanted to pass along to you folks. One of those things that we can get when we're down here on the ground and we've got another one coming through. I hear another band coming through. The bands are never ending. We'll see if we can get you a tidbit about this band coming up in just a minute. All right, thanks a lot, Leslie. So we have her roaming the sidelines for us, collecting all those great bits of information uh, on this 107th Stampede Day. Let's take a look from the, our eyes in the sky as we follow along here. It's been a great one so far, It's Dallas. been a great one so far. This year's theme is a salute to women in Western culture. You saw the, the Stampede posters, also a reflection of that. It was uh, by artist Rebecca Shuttleworth. She's from Balzac. She's a mm -hmm. youth, the first youth artist to be able to design the Calgary Stampede poster. Uh, it's a good one. She wanted to show in her art piece as well that, that she knows how to work on the farm and mm -hmm. women work hard on the farm and she was part of the stampede parade a little bit earlier this morning as was this year's calgary stampede parade marshall actress local cowgirl amber marshall and easier for us to remember <laughs> marshall easier marshall for, marshall marshall uh, one thing you've heard uh, a lot of is bands performing and that is because and we've mentioned it the 2019 world association of marching show bands competition being held here in Calgary, bands from across the world, more than 1,400 participants, Dallas, marching the route in those bands, providing some great music for us along the way. Look at these colors. This is the Calgary Ethiopian Community Association, established in 1982 and is registered as a nonprofit community association. Mm -hmm. It and helps with the integration of immigrants of Ethiopian origin to the Canadian society and helps uh, get them accustomed to and what's going on over here. Their float, uh, when we get a chance to see it, is going to display the natural and historical and cultural heritages of Ethiopia, highlighting the traditional coffee ceremony oh, flows from what different is parts that? of the country. I don't know, but I, I like it. I feel I like, like coffee. we need one of those every morning before Global News Morning starts. We need a traditional coffee ceremony. Hey, I'm down for it. Because <laughs> it rules our show in the morning from 3 a.m. for sure. This is a good float. Love to see those colors. There's some great colors there. Uh, some great music as well. Still don't see the colors. It's there though. You can think <laughs> Colt's there somewhere. <laughs> All right. No shortage of bands here. This is the Glenmore Temple Band. Yeah, the Salvation Army Glenmore Temple Band. Uh, formed back in 1892 to support the Salvation Army's social work here in Calgary and to assist in worship services at the original Calgary Citadel Corpse. Great to have them as well as them waiting along. Now their sole purpose, to share the message uh, that, they've, uh, that they're promoting, um, play a little trombone, wave a few flags, clap along. Look at all those white hats. 
Yeah. Look at Where all these white hats. White hat? I don't know. We <laughs> saw Smith Belt earlier in the show, and that reminds me. I think they, they're the ones who do the custom hat making, too, right? So if you want to spend a few extra dollars and get one that's going to last a lifetime, yeah. or you got to do something really spectacular, and then you get to be white hatted mm -hmm. here in the city. Yeah. So that's probably not going to happen for me. So I'll be buying mine. <laughs> Global News Radio score Gillies was just white hatted not that long ago, oh, by the way. Congratulations to Gordon. Uh, we're still continuing on with our coverage here, commercial free coverage. Oh, we should um, listen. What's this? Let's listen and find out. So behind the scenes here, Dallas is, I think, five for five <laughs> guessing songs, and I am zero for five. <laughs> we just need to become a Justin Something like that. <laughs> you can say Yahoo, though. I can say Yahoo. Yahoo! There they are. One more time. Yahoo! Is that the wrong syllable of the who? <laughs> as long Yahoo. as you don't say yeehaw, I think, yeah. you are, I think you're off the hook. Made there. that mistake. Uh, <laughs> the first Calgary Financial Banking local. And there's MP Kent Hare, former Veterans Affair Minister. Joining the parade route. Yeah, he's not the only politician that has um, marched in this parade or at least sat on a horse or in a wagon or mm -hmm. something along this parade. We saw Premier Jason Kenney there as well, Len Weber, the mayor of Lethbridge, just yep. among some of the other ones. Yep, and a uh, number of cabinet ministers as well, and city councillors, and our mayor too, Han Nenshi, in the front of the parade taking part. Um, and what is such a great day here for Calgary and Albertans in general as well. Sitting here at 10.50 on your parade coverage, 107th Stampede Parade. And we're looking at here are the Unsung Heroes Victory Parade, honoring our veterans and celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Victory Stampede, which you touched on um, earlier, Dallas. Uh, and it really recognizes the sacrifices that were made during the wars that Canada has been involved in um, with a great salute to our veterans. And look at our veterans uh, all lined up there in their uniforms. Look at all those medals. They represent uh, something very special for our country, for sure. Yeah. All right, let's go back down to the parade route. Leslie Horton is standing by. Leslie. We're going to go live right now. We are going to go live right We're now. Live. So yes. I talk to You're me. Live. Talk to me in a second. <laughs> yes. She said, are you going to go live now? I'm like, yes, we are live right now. I just wanted to point out that we're getting to the uh, end of the parade. And this is the tribute to the first responders. So we had, and, and here's a couple of them right here. Thank you. Tribute to the first responders as wrapping up the parade. And uh, interestingly, as the veterans um, went by, very actively waving, and there was um, a lot of waving and a lot of respect. Hey, EMS. Hi, EMS. Wrapping up with the first responders. So we had Calgary Fire uh, EMS there. I'm not sure that that's a safe way to drive EMS. I'm not sure that that guy, good thing that EMS is near because you might need them. Safer Together Floor, one of the first responders. And look at all of these emergency crews that are starting to come through here. Calgary Police, we've got the sheriffs. And this is a special, every year at the end of the parade, they have something um, a little bit special. Last year, you'll remember, it was the Humboldt first responders that came at the tail end of the parade. Uh, one year, it was the four McMurray firefighters that came at the tail end of the parade. You've got a little tiny passenger back there. Man, they get younger, those criminals, don't they? So the peace officers, the sheriffs, the Calgary police, uh, here on the ground, lots of signs of respect for these folks, uh, Dallas and Joel, as we get to the uh, towards the end of the parade. You see those flashing lights and you know the end of the parade is near. Joel's laughing. That normally means you're in trouble. I know. Not, <laughs> not when it comes to the Calgary Stampede yeah, Actually, It's panic. What did I do? Oh, they just went by me. No worries. Starting in eight <laughs> minutes, Joel, uh, anyone who goes through the gates of the Stampede gets free admission yeah, today. Yeah, take advantage of that. Right, right? up until 1.30 this afternoon. Take advantage of that. Maybe if you're working, go grab some mini donuts for the office. Or for any one of the other, the butterbeer ice cream. Ooh, I didn't know that was one of them. Butterbeer ice cream. I wish I had the list in front of me. There's so many. I'm definitely trying the dill pickle pizza. Mm, yeah. What kind of bugs are we eating this Well, that's year? the thing. Are there the crickets? Was it the cricket grilled cheese There was last a scorpion year? pizza last yeah, year. I a couple think bugs were things. the theme. I think yeah. there's a dill pickle theme this year. You know what? I like dill pickle, so I'll go with the dill pickle. Um, that, uh, again, 
is 11 to 1 free entry on the grounds. Uh, one thirty, I believe. One thirty. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to shortchange that a half hour. Mm -mm. Uh, and definitely, if the weather's going to hold off like this, it may be a great chance to get down there when it's dry because we do have rain in our forecast over the next couple of days, uh, and it's free. So why not? Yeah, this is the official this parade, the official kickoff to the Calgary Stampede. Uh, a lot of history this year, as it is mm -hmm. the 107th for sure. And of course, the kickoff to the Stampede means that Midway is going to open. We see a new Stranger Things theme mm -hmm. section at the Stampede, which is brand new, which I don't know if you're a fan of the show. No, you're not? Okay, well, a lot of people <laughs> binge watch it, so so watch for that as a theme. And, of course, the fireworks nightly, which the are fireworks. the grandstand show. Yes, I got to see some of the fireworks last night because I live in East Village, so the fireworks will be a consistent for right. me and everybody else that lives down there, which is great. You get to see them for... I want to say, I guess everyone can see them for free, but yeah. you don't have to go anywhere to see them. You can see them if you just step outside for sure. The Grandstand Show, always a good one as well. The Rodeo, mm -hmm. the Chocks, we are getting going here on another Stampede. I just got excited I know. because I forgot about the Rodeo for a second. And not, o that. not only is it all those great things you just mentioned, but what we saw in this parade throughout, all those bands taking part uh, in the World Association of Marching Show Bands competition being held during Stampede. So not only do we have all these great things going on, at the grounds, whether it's the Midway or the Chucks, as Dallas you just mentioned, some of the shows on the Coca-Cola stage, maybe the Big Four, mm -hmm. these are all the things I plan to do. Um, you can go hear some marching bands from all over the world, world champions here in our city. And what a, I'm not sure if there's a better time to be here in Calgary for all these young people and some older as well um, that are here for that competition. Seeing those emergency vehicles just move on slowly. Some people filing their way on out for sure. There is rain in the forecast mm -hmm. over the next uh, few days, I believe. It held off for this it parade. Did, but no shortage of things to do inside as well. You got the big four, you got a new exhibit there. So you can still head down there. Lots of good performers on the Coke stage. Oh, yeah. I'll be down there. Say hi if you see me. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's a good time, too, as we uh, kind of head towards the end of our broadcast just to thank all the volunteers, 140 dedicated volunteers, estimated 19,000 hours. Two tons of manure being uh, swept up. Uh, as well, we're going to, as we mark the end of the parade, we're going to throw it back to Leslie Horton one more time on the ground. And it does smell a little bit like horse poop down here, I got to admit, Dallas. Yeah, this looks like the end of the parade. The sweepers are coming through. So highlights of the parade today, um, for sure meeting Aaron Prichette uh, when we did the show. So that was just before nine. I loved all of the different marching bands this year. I thought that was terrific, as you talked about in town for the world uh, marching band competition. I love the fact that people came out here early in the morning when it was raining, and it is still fairly cool, and they hung out, uh, and, and it stopped raining for them at 10 to 9. I love the fact that that happened. I like the fact that we had a good salute to our veterans and our, um, our Army and the Navy, and wrapped it up with a salute to the first responders. Now, I am going to head over to the grounds, and I'm going to do the noon show from the grounds, and uh, it just reminds me to remind you that Calgary Police actually have a, a, a little detachment on the Stampede grounds, Stampede Park, over the next 10 days. So if you run into any trouble, there's a ton of cops over there. EMS as well, fire, they're all working together, as well as uh, Sutina and Siksika Police are part of the uh, action working with them. And we're wrapping it up with the City of Calgary trucks. I think we can call that the end of the 107th uh, Calgary Stampede Parade, Dallas and Joel. Good, uh, good work, you guys, keeping track of all of the acts that were coming through. It was a little bit of fun, wasn't it? All right. Did it rain at all on you from the start to the end of the parade, outside of before the parade last? No, no. It stopped raining when Aaron Prochette serenaded me. The <laughs> sun came through the cloud. It was uncanny. It was a sunbeam directly onto he and I. And that was um, probably just about 20 to 9, I think. And since then, not a single raindrop has fallen. Hmm. As a matter of fact, the roads are really actually drying up. So just in time for the parade. And it really brought a smile to a lot of folks' faces All down right. here. Lots of fun for the bystanders of the parade. Okay, so Aaron needs to stick around uh, for the rest of the 10 days, yeah. and we'll have great weather throughout. Uh, I'm really excited. We're going to be down at the Grounds Global News. You can come say hi to us. We have a uh, set. We have a station. You can find us at the activation tent. Mm -hmm. I like that. The activation tent. We give away free things. I you know. can come meet Joel. Free stuff. People are much more interested in the free stuff, as I would be, too. Yeah. So, But I'll be there to say hi. 
Navy too. You can come meet all of us. You can get in free between 11 to 1.30 now. We take a live look at that midway mm -hmm. as it gets to set to open for another year. Yeah. Let's take a look now back at some sights and sounds of the 107th Stampede Parade. Thanks for watching. Yeah.